everybody and welcome to Motivational Monday where you can learn how simple shifts in your habits cleans profound results in the way that you feel and in the way that you look. Today I have three more freaky foods to introduce to you and hopefully you can include them in your culinary repertoire. So the first freaky food are mataki mushrooms. And you may have heard me talk about these before because these are great to help in the prevention and the treatment of cancer. Now look how beautiful they are. So you may not have seen it before, which is why I wanted to introduce you to what they look like. They're also known as hen of the woods mushrooms, highly edible and incredibly nutritious. Mataki mushrooms have an immunomodulating effect, which means they modulate your immune system, they protect your immune system, they strengthen it when it needs strengthening it, and strengthening, and if, it also helps to um, protect your immune system when it's overactive, like in autoimmune diseases. It has shown to help uh, lower viral activity in the body, and it also boosts natural killer cell activity. So in that way, it helps protect you against cancer, and it kills off cancer cells. It helps protect you against cancer cell formation, and tumor formation, rather. And it also helps to block any sort of circulation to cancer cells. So it's wonderful to include in your diet when you're either looking to prevent cancer or if you're being treated for cancer. This is often made into extract form and put into pills or liquids that people can use uh, in a more concentrated form to help fight off cancer. So including mataki mushrooms in your diet would be great for you, just overall health and well-being and protect you against cancer. And the ways that you can do that is you can grill it or you can just put it into soups, which is what I intend to do with it after I shoot this video. So mataki mushrooms are freaky food number one. Oh, and another thing, mataki mushrooms are really good at helping to protect your blood sugar. So it's really good in the prevention of diabetes because it helps with regulation of glucose levels in your body, and it also has been shown to help with management of hypertension. So it's great for cardiovascular wellness as well. So it's a great food to include in your diet. Freaky food number two are known as sunchokes. They're also known as Jerusalem artichokes. And these are a great root vegetable in the sunflower species that are a really great source of inulin. And inulin is the carbohydrate contained in Jerusalem artichokes rather than a starch, giving them greater glycemic control. So when you eat this, you don't get that same insulin response that you would get from eating a starchier carbohydrate like potatoes. So again, inulin is the carbohydrate not to be confused with insulin. Now the great thing about inulin is that this great fiber is a prebiotic. And what that means is it helps your large intestine colonize good bacteria in the gut. And in that way, it helps with bowel function, absorption of certain nutrients, detoxification. So including Jerusalem artichokes in your diet is a great um, food to include for gut health. One word of caution though, that if you eat too much at one time, because of that fiber, it doesn't break down as readily as a starch, it can give you gas and bloating if you eat too much. So a good way to eat this is to slice it up thin and just eat it as like a chip, like as a snack. You can also just put it in some soups and puree it, so small amounts in like a big pot of soup. So you can get the benefits of it without necessarily upsetting your gastrointestinal tract. Another benefit of eating um, Jerusalem artichokes is that it helps with the absorption of calcium, which is great, and it's also a really nice source of potassium and iron. So including sunchokes, also known as Jerusalem artichokes, in your diet would be freaky food number two. The third thing I want to introduce you to today is actually a spice, and I've definitely mentioned it in my blogs before, but I thought you might, if you're not familiar with how it looks, I wanted to show you that this is what turmeric looks like. So that legendary spice that has been shown to have cancer-fighting properties and anti-inflammatory properties, and it's also really great to help protect you against Alzheimer's and dementia, looks just like a piece of ginger, except when you open it up inside, it's very orange inside. Um, so this is the active ingredient in turmeric is the curcumin and the curcuminoids, and that's what gives it its great cancer-fighting properties. So turmeric has been shown to help reduce the incidence of colon cancer, breast cancer, liver cancers, oral cancers, esophageal cancer. So it's really great to include in your diet on a regular basis to help prevent cancer. It's also good to include if you're trying to manage cancer. It's also really good as an anti-inflammatory. So if you have arthritis, uh, any kind of inflammatory condition, it would be useful for that. And it, again, it's great for your cognition, so mental health and your ability to remember things and recall them. So including turmeric in your diet is another great um, spice that you can include to help move you towards your health goals. And the way you would include it is you can either juice with it, which is what I do with it, 
You can roast up a pan of lots of sweet potatoes and carrots and then roast some of that with it along with it. It has a little bit of a sweet quality to it. It tastes actually very nice. Um, and you can just put it in soups as well. It is one of the staples in Asian cuisine. So if you like Indian spice foods, you can also just do lots of roasted vegetables with um, an Indian spice blend with a curry vegetable dish. And that would also help you get the turmeric in your diet as well. So turmeric is freaky food number three. So you may have a little bit of a hard time finding this in your local supermarket and you might need to go to a farmer's market or a health food store to find them. But I would encourage you to do that because they are so different and interesting and they are so incredibly good for your health. Mataki mushrooms have such a great fragrant earthy smell to them and they are so good for your body. And I, whenever I put turmeric in my juices I just love the flavor that it gives it. Sunchokes taste so much like potatoes that it really it's kind of like a trade-off in that way, but the nice benefit of it is that it doesn't have that same glycemic response as a potato, and it blends in well with the mataki mushrooms, which reminds me, it's always good to combine these things to get the maximum nutritional value out of each of them, so make them together. So I'll be adding that to the soup, like I said, and I might even just shave some uh, turmeric in there to give it that nice orange color. So let me ask you, have you ever tried any of these foods? And if so, what do you think of them? And how do you use them in your diet? I would love to hear in the comments below. If you're watching on YouTube, you can click right below this video and it'll take you right to the blog and you can make your comments there. Like always, I love to hear your feedback. So definitely come on over and let me know what you think. If you like tips like this and you're looking for more of them, then come on over to barbaramendezenutrition.com and you can sign up for the mailing list there. Once you do, I will automatically send to you an email every Monday with either a written or a video blog with a recipe, some nutritional suggestion, or some motivational tip to help move you towards your health goals. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter, and if you think any of your people would benefit from knowing this information, then you can certainly forward the video to them. Thanks so much, everybody. Have an awesome Monday. Eat these foods and be healthy, and I'll see you next time.